morning students welcome to leela tutorial so today we will discuss about ivf ivf is in vitro fertilization technique which is also referred as test tube baby so here the fertilization is occurring in the lab so we call it as in vitro fertilization naturally it occurs inside the body so here you can see fertilization occurs in petri plates but not in animal womb okay the female animal uh, is not involved here what is happening here only thing is the eggs and the sperm cells are extracted and they are maintained in the culture media such that here the special media will allow the cells to uh, be live and be in active condition right so here as it is occurring in the body in the same way the fertilization occurs after incubating them in nutritive media right so let us see what are the steps involved in ivf technique so there are five stages the first stage is ovarian stimulation second stage egg retrieval third sperm retrieval fourth fertilization in petri plate fifth is embryo selection and transfer so let us discuss about first one ovarian stimulation so to the female before the ivf technique is uh, getting started they are given the super ovulation injections so that their gonadotropin hormone level will increase and they produce more number of eggs or the ova right so here the two or three eggs are produced due to super ovulation or ovarian ovarian stimulation process so after this process it is the egg retrieval now the female now the female partner will produce more number of eggs that is more than 3 eggs are produced by female partner right in case if the female partner is having some defect in the egg right that means the egg quality may be not good because of which the fertilization fails in that case they go for the egg donor where they uh, other person from the other female they take the eggs right so that is called as egg donor and the third one is the sperm retrieval again here the sperm or the semen is collected from the male partner right it is collected from the male partner then from the semen the sperms are the active and motile sperms are separated if there is some problem in the sperm motility or the quality then they go for the sperm donors right then in case of fourth step it is fertilization in petri plate so here you have retrieved both egg and the sperm right both the gametes are retrieved in lab and they are maintained in the nutritive media animal tissue culture media then after see here i said during egg retrieval you are going to retrieve the oocytes which are immature then for two days you are going to maintain them in nutritive media such that they become mature oocytes right after the meiotic function right meiotic division they become mature oocytes or the egg cells which are ready for the fertilization so here they maintain these eggs then they go for the fertilization in the petri plate they add the sperm cells right the separated sperm cells in the petri plates containing the ovum and the nutritive animal tissue culture media right so after incubation here you are going to incubate them in a suitable environment that is an incubator where you maintain all the cultural conditions and also the ph temperature and osmotic condition also then you have embryo selection and transfer now fertilization has occurred in petri plate that is in lab this is called as in vitro it is not occurring inside the body it is occurring in the lab that is called as in vitro fertilization once the in vitro fertilization is done here the embryos are selected why you need to select the embryo you have to evaluate whether the embryo is dividing properly whether the embryo is healthy then only you are going to select that one and implant that in the 
uterus of the female right that is transfer into the uterus of the female so let us see diagrammatical representation here this is the female right female reproductive system the uterus fallopian tubes and the ovaries right so here first stage it is the ovarian stimulation where you are giving in terms of tablets or injections right tablets or injection because of which the female will produce more than 2 eggs per estrus cycle right so this is the ovary inside the ovary these are the eggs or the ovum which are produced right or you can call them as oocytes right so now the female has produced more number of oocytes due to ovarian stimulation or super ovulation injections so now after that there will be follicular puncture and it is egg retrieval so here by using the scanning and the retrieval needle the oocytes are extracted out from the female reproductive system right so after the egg retrieval either you go for the technique continue it otherwise if there is a time gap right the semen also must be ready for ivf if there is any lag in that then you are going to store that in liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees centigrade right and here by the time you are going to collect the semen from the male partner right then that semen is again separated all the motile sperms and the uh, healthy sperms are separated if there is any lag again you are going to store them in minus 196 degrees centigrade in liquid nitrogen otherwise if the both egg and the sperm cells are ready for the fertilization you go for the fertilization technique that means in a petri plate you are going to maintain the nutritive media annual tissue culture media required for the embryo to develop right so here in this you are going to take only one egg cell right one egg cell or the one mature oocyte which is ready for the fertilization then the sperm cells are added to this petri plate and incubated right so it is incubated in the incubator for overnight so that the fertilization occurs in some cases though the sperm and the egg cell are uh, maintained in a controlled environment but still the fertilization fails right that may be due to the zona of pellucida what is zone of pellucida it is the outer thick wall of the egg cell right if the wall of the egg cell is too much thick then the sperm fails to penetrate into the egg cell so the fertilization fails in that case what you do you either mechanically hatch or rupture the zone of pellucida or by means of laser rays or by means of enzymatic technique you hatch the egg or make some uh, small suture like thing so through that the sperm cell will enter into the ovum or the egg cell and fertilize it is that clear so in other cases instead of adding the sperms right the separated motile sperms are added right in case if the sperm is again failing to fertilize right so what they do they maintain the oocyte or the egg cell in the petri plate containing the media and the sperm will be only single sperm will be taken and it will be directly injected right they are not going to add in the petri plate but directly with the help of micro needle they are going to inject into the cytoplasm of the egg cell right so when they are going to inject this sperm cell directly into the cytoplasm you call it as icsi technique that is inter cytoplasmic sperm injection right so into the cytoplasm you are going to introduce the sperm directly so that fertilization occurs right so if there is any problem with the zona of pellucida that is the outer wall of the egg cell 
you go for laser hatching or enzyme hatching or mechanical hatching if there is problem with the sperm in penetration then directly with the help of fine needle you will inject that sperm into the cytoplasm of the egg cell is that clear so after that it is the incubation so that the fertilization will be successful once the fertilization is successful now they start developing into an embryo okay so now this technique is called as embryo culture development of the embryo so here if the ova is getting ruptured or getting damaged it will not be able to divide right so here you can see after fertilization the fertilized egg is maintained in the culture media or the nutritive media in incubator so here you can see the fertilized egg the single cell fertilized egg has divided it is a two cell stage four cell stage eight cell stage so at this eight cell stage you are going to observe the uh, egg cell under the microscope right so that you will know whether the fertilized egg is uh, dividing or it is it got damaged or ruptured right so after evaluation of this uh, developing zygote at the eight cell stage then you are going to transfer it into the uterus of the female okay you are going to introduce that into the uterus of the female then wait for the gestation period after completing the gestation period the female animal will deliver to a baby which is referred as test tube baby is that clear so here this is a in vitro fertilization technique so what is the use of this technique so here if you have an animal right which is having the superior qualities so in its lifetime it may produce only 3 to 4 calves in its lifetime but you want more number of progeny to be there so that the productivity will be high so what you do instead of allowing it to uh, carry the baby and uh, produce only 3 to 4 calves what do what you do you go for the super ovulation so that it will produce many number of eggs right after fertilization each egg can be introduced into the same parent or into the another parent another female parent so that they will carry the uh, calf for the gestation period then deliver the baby so at a time you can produce many number of progeny which are having the superior quality as the mother cow right so here what is the advantage that means here advantage is if there is any infertility problem in the female the miscarriages right then they can go for this ivf technique right then defective egg if the female is having any defective egg they can go for the uh, egg donors right they can take the egg from the another female and they can go for this ivf technique again in case if there is any defective sperm which is failing to fertilize or there may be immotile sperms in that case also the male parent can take this sperm from another animal right so it is called as sperm donors right they donate the sperm so in another case if the animal is aged right or it is having defect in the uterus where it is not able to carry the baby right so what happens here in that case they allow them to super ovulate culture the embryo and the developed embryos are introduced into the another animal right or the surrogate animal which will carry the baby for the development that is the gestation period right so here in this way the ivf plays a very important role where you can produce many number of progeny of superior quality okay and also you can overcome the infertility problem if you have any doubts put it in comments if you have not subscribed please subscribe